thick black smoke blankets the sky. Rivers of fire flow below. Yeah, pretty much the perfect stage for a fateful showdown. Well, here's to hoping we make it out in one piece. There, we're moored. Red ships shouldn't see us from here. We'll hit them before they know what's coming. I'm not the only one who saw that big-ass fire geyser, right? No, we all saw it. Only a primal could pull that off. And it's clear that's where they've taken Lyria. Prepare for take... <laughs> what now? I believe it means the volcano is close to erupting. How are you so calm? Lava is not how I want to go out. And what about the Grand Cipher? But we have to get to Lyria. You're preaching to the choir. Of course I want to go rescue her, but I just... Ah. I saw how they handled Excavalion. It could be my best bet going forward. But we'll be stranded here if we lose the ship. It would all be for nothing. All right. I'll take the helm and fly the ship to safety. Once the area stabilizes, I'll come back to pick you guys up. You all go on ahead. Sorry for the trouble, Roland. Sure you don't mind? Not at all. Besides, since when has Mr. Fixit ever let you down? Ah, uh, before I go. Vern, do you mind showing me the catalyst? Wait, right now? Um, sure. No problem. There, I've activated it. Hold it near Lyria, and it should release the lock on the collar. And that'll give us a fighting chance! Thanks, Fixit Dude! Hmm. Time to part ways for now. Danger lurks around every corner in this place, so proceed with caution. Don't worry about us. You just focus on keeping the Grand Cipher safe. Come on, everyone. We need to hurry. Sorry, Skyfarers. Lilith was my responsibility. I can feel it. A primal beast is nearby. Fighting that primal beast. Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is he's the reason Lyria's here in the first place. Crap, volcano's getting ready to blow. Oh no! The ground is sinking into the magma! Can't do anything about it! Just run for your lives! Don't look back!
Wait for him. Don't go rushing in. If the catalyst gets broken, we'll lose everything. We need to stop and around. We'll tell you when it's your turn, Bird. Soon, right? That primal looks quite similar to Bahamut. Is that why it was able to imprison Lyria? Why is it taking a dip in the magma? Oh, yikes! It's a magma wave! Get swallowed by that, and it'll eat more than a nasty bird! Get to the cover of that outcropping! It's our only chance! That's our chance to close the gap! Wave in half? Don't know whether to be grateful or terrified. Both, I guess. That's our cue! Keep it up, guys! Why is he going that far? Would he really be trying to save Lyria? I mean, even if he does, he'll just take her away again, and we're back to square one. My thoughts exactly. Can't let him do that. It looks like they've come to an impasse. Now we can join the fight. <laughs> Another wave is coming! Wait. Another chase is afoot. It's running scared because it knows the catalyst worked. Our next encounter will be its last. 
Let's face it. If you want to take down this god, you'll need my help. All right. We'll work with you for as long as our goals align. I still don't like the idea of teaming up with this leader. Edgar can't be choosers.
Understood. I'll follow you. Sure shows up. That's why she gave a no kill order for your captain. And before leaving it to be truly happy. Having second thoughts? Maybe there's hope for you after all. How's this? We've overcome so much. This molten chamber will not be our tomb. Stun. Get in there and do some damage. It's coming out of its days, but I'm certain we're wearing it down. Get your head out of the clouds, kid. Don't you want to save Lyria? Feeling conflicted? It seems you're actually soft under that. Now it's on! How is she? <sighs> well done, everyone. Where did you come from? and misery make fools of us all. Here I see a troop of puppets flouncing about in a play with no audience. And your bond with the shaman? It's threadbare. Little more than a thin line of hope. Fear not, and trust me with your strings, and I shall deliver salvation unto you all. I know this is much too sudden for you to comprehend. But don't struggle. Embrace it. Go on. Embrace my love. How nice of Avia's leader oh, to come greet us herself. 
saved us the trouble of tracking you down. My dear, I'm not looking for a fight. I've come to install the virtue of salvation. Oh, my It obvious that I am shepherding all to a transcendent future. We don't need your phony baloney philosophy. Night bearers, we put our faith in a free sky. In a long journey, but a fruitful one. Now, to open the gates and bask in the light of paradise. Stop! What are you doing? No, we'll all be. Why must you reject salvation? Do you not see that it is the perfect course? You dare defy me to the end? I'd rather not harm you. That would not be in the shaman's best interest. So I ask, judge for yourself. The miracle of my salvation. That's dirty! Give it back! Why? This has always belonged to us. I admit, I am intrigued as to how you were able to activate the catalyst. Although... I suppose it no longer matters at this point. With the primals in my possession, I've won. how to make a strong cage. My powers are useless against it. Damn it! We didn't come this far to get put in time out! There is still hope left. He did. And now even Vulcan Bola has fallen into Lilith's hands. I can't stall any longer. The fate of the skies calls upon the might of your crew. Will you fight to save it? Roland, I'm not sure if I like where this is going. Yeah. Tell us what this is all about. Of course. But first, your injuries need tending to. Let's return to the ship. <sighs> the time to reveal the truth has come. Well, the floor is all yours, Roland. Thanks. First, I want you all to take a look at this. That's the beast from Tempio. Furikin. Lilith released the primal beasts from their slumber and stole their powers. 
Those powers now flow within Lyria. She's essentially a living storage vessel. <laughs> the Astral Realm is Lilith's home. One way back is to restore the Forbidden Primal. Angra Mainyo. I hope I'm wrong, but she plans to feed it the other beast's powers. Just how big and nasty is this Mainyu thing? It's the primal beast of gateways, allowing all kinds of travel between any two points. Distance doesn't matter, so in theory, one could even pass through to the Astral Realm. It doesn't sound that evil to me if all it does is open a bunch of doors. <sighs> if only it were that innocent. The problem lies in what's needed to open a gate. You see, the gates require energy proportional to the distance between them. Now, let's pretend we want to open a gate to the Astral Realm. In this case, distance is secondary. Now we're discussing interdimensional travel. So, energy-wise... Yes. An extraordinary amount will need to be consumed. And that instantaneous consumption will trigger grave repercussions. At best, Zeka Grande would be reduced to nothing in the aftershock. At worst, most of the Sky Realm would cease to exist as we know it. There's no way that's possible! Then let me tell you a story. Fifteen years ago, Lilith revived Angra Mainyu. She attempted to open the gate to the Astral Realm. Fortunately, for whatever reason, she failed in her scheme. But a number of islands weren't so lucky, and they were rendered uninhabitable. Survivors of the incident are forever cursed to live their lives with unending trauma. That's awful. You see now? She won't give up. She will utilize the power of the Four Primals and attempt to cast open the gates once more. And the only thing waiting for us on the other side of those gates is sheer destruction. We can't allow history to repeat itself. There's something I'd like to ask about this woman, this Lilith. She's an astral, isn't she? The potency of her powers and her obsession with the astral realm give her away. <sighs> the astrals. The invaders who once ruled over our skies. You are correct. Mm-hmm. Well, it takes one to know one. Oh. Unbelievable. I suspected as much a while back. You knew a great deal about this Skydom, things that no ordinary person should know. I'll be damned. Real live astral right under our noses. <laughs> Sorry, can't blame a guy for being on edge. Is that those are obvious raptors? You're kidding! They really chased after us? They couldn't have mobilized a hunting party this quickly. Of all the times to hound us, they choose now? Well, they're here. Less talking, more blasting. Just occurred to me. 
There's only one destination at the end of this flight path. At least yes, we're headed to the same place as these jokesters. Indeed. And let us discuss particulars after we have saved our hides. These groups don't know when to give up. It seems conviction is a strong motivator. Well, when you got an astral yank in your chain. Finally, that was the last of them. Looks like Obvious already making their next move. I must take action. Wait, I just want to be super sure. Are you really an astral? <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. We've met other astrals before. Loki and Mikaboshi, if those names ring a bell. They have their own particular philosophies. But you seem different from them. I know, right? It's like Fixit Dude actually wants to be a part of the Sky Realm. Indeed. It was no act when you risked life and limb to save the people of Folka and Tempeel. I'll be honest. I once viewed Sky Dwellers as insignificant. But that all changed. Many years ago. The first friend I ever made in this world taught me a valuable lesson. They said there is strength in solidarity. Understanding can overcome adversity. Help us grow. Folka is now my home away from home. The people there are like family to me. Sadly. We experience longevity on different scales. If I were granted one wish, it'd be to stay with them forever. At the very least, I want them to be happy. I'll do anything I can as an astral to protect the populace, to protect the islands. And I'll stop Lilith, no matter the consequences I must suffer. how you feel. The Sky Realm is our home, too. So you can count on us. I guess even Astros come in all kinds of different flavors. Just like Sky Dwellers. The same can be said of Primal Beasts. <laughs> kind of weird having an Astral watching our backs for once. But I won't complain. Thanks, everyone. I'm sorry, I haven't been up front with you all. I suppose I was acting out of cowardice. I was... afraid of your reactions, if you learned I was an astral. We're in this together. <laughs> Captain. Thank you. <laughs> dumb and dumb. Yes. With Roland's aid, we'll surely stop Lilith and rescue Lyria. Angramanyu's real body is in an altar beneath Seed Hollow Castle. Yikes. There's a sinister primal lurking right under that huge city? Yes. And I'm the one who sealed it down there centuries ago. But if Lilith found Angra 15 years ago, that means the seal is... Broken. When she squandered away Angra's power, she failed to capture its true form as well. I'm certain it's still in the altar somewhere, camouflaged by its gateway powers. Uh, so that's why you stayed behind in Sea Hollow. Find the damn thing. Indeed. Unfortunately, my search turned up nothing. However, the moment Lilith summons Angra's real body, that may be our chance to strike. I warn you, she and I are equally matched. But lucky for me, I've got the better team. Obvious, no doubt getting closer to the castle. There's no time to lose. We'll gear up in the city and make a run for the altar. 
or else these skies are done for. Really hitting the fan now, huh? We better hightail it back to Seed Hollow before it's too late. So, we've suddenly found ourselves caught up in an astral tug of war, decades in the making. The relationship between Lilith and Roland remains unclear. But one thing is certain Roland is our greatest ally in Zega Grande. And with all the good he's done here, his love for Sky Dwellers is plain as day. Together, I know we'll stop Lilith, and ensure Angra Mainyu's gate stays closed. We will protect the Sky Realm.